Hi everyone, I'm the Family Pet Nanny. Thanks for joining me for another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with more content on my channel. And please give this video a like if it helps you. So I wanted to make a quick video about the current times with the coronavirus and uh, basically the, uh, the shutdown that we're experiencing in the world and how it might be affecting our pets. I have a dog. Many of you may or may not have seen him plastered all over my channel and my Facebook. His name is Chachi. And um, he's been experiencing my nervousness. You know, on top of everything else, now we've got this virus going on and, and people are panicking. And it's stressing me out as well. You know, we're all feeling the stress and the anxiety. We're all afraid. Well, Chachi is um, actually feeling that emotion as well. Um, our pets are empathic. They are empaths. They absorb emotion for us. That means, um, think of them as a giant living filter. And they are filtering all of the negativity, the emotions, the illness, the disease, the bacteria uh, for us because they love us and they want us to feel better. They want us to, be, to feel good and to be happy. So this is actually a wonderful, beautiful gift to have a pet in your life, that favorite animal companion of yours, to have them help you clean and clear out your energy system, your body, and to help you feel better. You know, it's a well-known fact that pets keep us healthier. Well, there's more to it other than petting them and feeling their soft coats and seeing, you know, seeing them play and be cute, making us happy and inspiring happiness within us. They also are clearing out blockages, emotions, and taking on imbalances for us, such as disease and illness. So um, one of the ways you might see that manifesting is if, if you are nervous and fearful about what's going on right now, you're going to start noticing them being nervous and fearful in different ways. They may be acting it out behaviorally. They may be tearing up something in the house. They may be nervously walking back and forth and pacing. They uh, may be uh, nervously licking their paws. Chachi does that sometimes when I'm, I am find myself anxiety riddled. Um, they may be chewing their hair out. They may not have much of an appetite. Or they may be vomiting and not necessarily anything but bile. Uh, in Chachi's case, he's been vomiting yellow bile. Um, and there are some things you can do to make sure that they are not actually ill. You know, rule out if they threw up. For instance, did I feed them anything that was bad? Um, is their water clean? Um, did they get any, anything that they shouldn't have? Once you rule those things out, and if you decide to go to the vet, and the vet cannot figure out why they have an upset tummy, chances are they are processing emotions for you. So, um, like I said, this can look like a number of behavioral issues, nervousness, lack of appetite. They may appear very fatigued or they may not be in the mood to play like normal. So don't be alarmed. They're just processing emotions. But what I would recommend, first and foremost, is get yourself healthy. Get yourself in a space of happiness. And the best thing you can do is to send them mental images of you being happy and healthy, and send them mental images of the pet that you would like to see, whether they're frolicking outside, playing with their favorite toy, loving on you, send them images to their, directly to them, of them being happy and you being happy and healthy as well, and that will have a major impact on their health. Another thing you can do to keep yourself happy and healthy is meditate, um, do breathing exercises, take a nap. Um, if you are spiritual or religious, do some prayer and some meditation. Um, and just do your best to, to get yourself in a happier space, in a lighter space. Breathe, take a breath, and know that we are all safe and that this will pass. Um, from my lips to God's ears, right? Um, and I'm not trying to, to give you, uh, uh, you know, a be-all, end-all. This is not medical advice. But I do know that when I'm in a happier space, my dog is also in a happier, healthier space. And because of what's going on, we're panicking and our pets are feeling it. 
So also another thing you can do is to contact me about a Reiki treatment. How does Reiki help for pets? Well, Reiki treatments are used to relieve stress. Um, they can alleviate pain. They can induce relaxation, release emotional blocks from your pet, and accelerate natural healing. So Reiki is basically a great stress reducer, a great way to induce relaxation and to curb anxiety. So um, what I can offer is long distance treatments. And right now I'm actually having a special. If you email me at familypetnanny at gmail.com, I will do a long distance treatment for your pet, a 15 minute long distance Reiki treatment, wherein you will send me an image via email of your pet so that I can see your animal and send them the distance healing. And it'll be a 15 minute treatment and right now I'm doing them for the low price of $30 per treatment. And whether or not your dog responds to the first treatment, that will uh, be up to your pet. And um, I will definitely be able to continue to treat them should they need further assistance. So I hope this video has found you and your pets and your family well during this trying time. Keep your heads up, stay positive, stay safe, be smart, and then be clean and be careful. But I just wanted to make this video to reassure you that whatever your pets are feeling, it can be um, dealt with and it can be helped. And one of the ways that we can help is to stay healthy and stay positive. And also there's the power of the Reiki healing energy because pets are very responsive to healing energy of Reiki. They uh, do not have any fears or blockages about it. Um, so they would respond very well to Reiki. So again, if you want to contact me, email me at familypetnanny at, uh, family at gmail.com or find me on Facebook at Family Pet Nanny. And I will also leave a link to my email in the description below. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves.